Building IoT connectivity for smart future. This is Innovation. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Innovation YouTube channel. And this is our knowledge-based video series. And we focus on creating in-depth industrial knowledge, case studies, and practical insights to help you tackle the real-world challenges. In this video, we're going to talk about the ultra-rich POE or coax and the ultra-rich POE. Before we dive into the topic, let's start by looking at a situation likely faced by user with analog camera system and existing legacy cables who are planning to upgrade to IP camera system. Let's see that. You're considering upgrade from your analog camera system to new IP-based camera system. Purchasing new PoE cameras, NAR, and related equipment is definitely the first step. But later on, you will find that a real problem comes into the play. Replacing all your existing legacy cables, especially the coaxial cables, with Ethernet cables to support the new IP cameras, that's a big deal, which could involve tearing out the old lines and installing the new ones. It is a labor-intensive and a costly task. That's not all. The camera are located hundreds of meters away from MAR or PoE switch, well beyond effective transmission range of standard PoE. If we were to switch to Ethernet cable, we would need a PoE extenders, repeaters along the way, making the setup sound a lot more complicated, right? Ultra-rich PoE over coax can perfectly solve this problem without replacing the existing cables, allowing for seamless upgrade of the camera system. Let's talk about what is ultra-rich PoE over coax. This technology highlights its unique capability of transmitting both power and data over coaxial cable, offering a powerful solution for application where coax is preferred or already in place. However, ultra-rich PoE over coax is not just limited to coaxial cable alone. It also supports UTP cables and twisted peer cables, making exceptional versatile for diverse cabling setup. I guess many of you may also wonder, when you talk about ultra-rich, what do you mean? How far away? How long is it? The ultra-rich PoE overcomes the traditional PoE limitation of 100 meters extending the transmission distance up to 1,000 meters, which equivalent to, say, 3,300 feet. This breakthrough opens up incredible new opportunity for PoE in long-range scenarios. With ultra-rich PoE and ultra-rich PoE or coax, PoE is no longer bound by standard Ethernet cable or distance constraints, making it ideal for large-scale installation and diverse cabling environments. Here's how it works and why it can achieve such long transmission distance up to 1,000 meters. The ultra HPU or coax requires a special converter or adapter at the both ends of a coaxial cable. On the one end, a PU or coax transmitter connects to the IP camera. On the other end, a PU or coax receiver connects to the network switch, which supplies power to the device over coax. Both converter encode Ethernet signals to the high-frequency signal compatible with the coaxial cable and send it to the other end. The adapter also converts any signal received back to Ethernet signals. Transmission is a bi-directional and transparent, allowing the IP device to function or connect it to the standard Ethernet cable. Power is transmitted from the switch side, PoE or coax receiver, to the remote side, PoE or coax transmitter. After PoE handshake, a connected PoE PD capable device will receive standard PoE and PoE plus power, allowing to operate without a separate power source. In a wide can achieve 1000 meters, coaxial cables are designed to carry high frequency signal over long distance with a minimum loss, which is why they were traditionally used in CCTV system. In contrast, Ethernet cable have a limit around 100 meters due to higher signal attenuation. Coaxial cables are inherently capable handling higher bandwidth over long distances, making them suitable for transmitted data and power over extended range without significant degradation. With the standard RG59 cables connected, 
Ultra GPU overclocks will provide 100 megabits per second bandwidth for connections within 1000 feet, and 10 megabits per second bandwidth connections up to 3000 feet. And the coaxial cables have shielding, which makes them resistant to electromagnetic interference, enhancing signal integrity over long distance. First, the IP camera captures the video and sends it as a digital signal through the Ethernet cable all the way to the EOC transmitter. And the EOC transmitter will take the responsibility to convert those digital signal to analog signal and send it through your existing legacy coaxial cable to EOC receiver. And the EOC receiver will reconvert those analog signal to IP signal and send it through the Ethernet cable to POENVR. And the POENVR will save those video footage on the hard drive digitally. And the meanwhile, this is a POENVR and it has a POE output port and it will be power up your remote IP camera. And here's some most frequently asked questions about the ultra rich PoE and ultra rich PoE over coax. And number one, what PoE standard does ultra rich PoE over coax support? The ultra rich PoE over coax systems are designed to support IEEE 2.3 AF and IEEE 2.3 AT standard. That's a PoE plus. The most recent PoE++ AO 2.3 BT standard, which provides up to 60 watts or 100 watts at the source, is generally not fully supported over long distance in PoE over coax systems due to the increased power requirements and the loss over distance. And how about compatibility with a PoE device? The Innovation Ultra Reach PoE over coax system is fully compatible with all of the standard PoE devices including most of IP cameras from hundreds of brands in the market, and the data transmission is transparent to both sides. It just provides a transmission terminal over the coaxial cable. Without maneuvering the data, all of the Ethernet TCP IP protocol will still be working in Lenovation Ultra HP or coax system. It can transmit not only the camera video, but also the voice, control signal, and all of the data type. And how far the ultra rich PoE over coax can transmit? The theoretical maximum transmission distance for ultra rich PoE over coax can reach approximately 1000 meters, 3300 feet. This distance is far exceeds the standard Ethernet limit of 100 meters, thanks to the lower signal attenuation and a stronger interference resistance of the coaxial cables. Why can't we reach this distance? The design of the coaxial cables allows for lower loss over long distance, enabling better signal integrity, especially for stable power transmission. Coaxial cables have a robust shielding that minimizes external electromagnetic interference, meaning that signals are less likely to be affected by noise over the extended distance. Does the power and data capacity of ultra-rich PoE over coax decrease over ultra-long distances? In ultra-long distance, PoE over coax transmission, signal attenuation is a critical factor affecting overall performance. As the distance between the power source and the endpoint device increases, the signal strength, bandwidth, and the power delivery gradually weaken due to the cable resistance and the signal degradation. And here's overall of the how these factors are impacting your performance. And here's the overview of how these factors are impacting the long distance PoE over coaxial transmission. According to the chart, at 100 meters, 330 feet, PoE over coax can maintain a high 100 megabits per second bandwidth with minimal signal loss. The bandwidth is sufficient for most high speed applications, like high definition video civilians. As the distance extends to 300 meters, which is 1,000 feet, the system still supports 100 megabits per second bandwidth, indicating that within the range, 
the coaxial cable's signal integrity remains very strong. And this range is ideal for maintaining high data rates over moderate distances. However, at 1000 meters, which equivalent to 3300 feet, the bandwidth drops significantly to 10 megabits per second. This drop is due to the signal denuation over such a long distance, where the cable's resistance and the potential interference gradually degrade the data signal. At 10 megabits per second, the system may support basic video feeds, but it may struggle with the high definition or high data rate applications. And the chart also illustrates that power loss over the distance. At 100 meters, the system can deliver up to 21 watts of the PoE power, which is sufficient for power most standard IP cameras and other PoE devices. As the distance increases to 300 meters, the power capacity decreases to 11 watts. This reduction reflects the natural resistance within the cable, which results in drops in available power at the device end. Well, 11 watts is still enough for low power PoE devices. It may be inefficient for devices with higher power needs. At 1000 meters, 3300 feet, the power capacity falls to just 4 watts, which is only suitable for very low power devices. Are there specific requirements for the coaxial cable used with ultra rich PoE over coax? The answer is yes. PoE over coax typically works best with high quality coaxial cables such as RG59 or RG6. These type of cables are recommended because they offer low signal loss over long distance. Ensuring stable power in the data transmission, elder or degraded coaxial cables may lead to reduced performance, including signal loss and power instability. For optimal results, it's important to use coaxial cables are in good condition and suited to the distance and power requirements of your PoE over coaxial setup. Next, PoE over coax typically introduces minimum latency making it suitable for most applications, including real-time video and data transmission. Well, there may be a slight increase in latency compared to direct Ethernet due to the signal conversion. High-quality PoE over coax transceivers are designed to keep latency low, and this minimum delay is generally unnoticeable and it doesn't affect the performance in most use cases. And now you understand what is ultra-rich PoE and ultra-rich PoE or coax. In the next, we're gonna take a closer look at how this technology really shines. You know, the most popular scenario is upgrading analog civilian system to IP-based system. And traditional analog CCTV system typically use coaxial cables. We're upgrading to IP cameras, which offer better image quality and advanced features. You usually need new cabling, however, PoE over coax allows you to use existing coaxial cables to carry both power and data, making it easier to switch IP civilian system without major wiring. And extending network reach beyond Ethernet limits. Ethernet cables usually only send the data and the power up to about 100 meters, which equivalent to say 330 feet. PoE over coax can extend this distance up to as far as 1000 meters, 3300 feet. And this makes a great solution for large areas like campus or industrial sites where long distance connectivity is needed. Elevator and mobile units are often don't have Ethernet cable, though they might have coaxial cable, right? So PoE over coax allows you to send power and data over coaxial cables, enabling IP cameras or other PoE devices to be installed in, in these spaces without a need for new cabling. For temporary setups, such as at construction sites or events, using existing coaxial infrastructure speeds up deployment and the PoE or coax enables quick installation and removal of civilian equipment, providing flexibility with reducing setup time enhancing network resistance in industrial environments. Industrial settings can be tough on network cables. Coaxial cables are more durable and resistant interference than the Ethernet cable. 
Using PLE over coax in these environments ensures stable power and data transmission to essential devices. And now you understand what it is, how it works, and where to put it, use it. You know, let's put our knowledge into the action and tackle real world challenges. And don't forget about the subscriber channel. The upcoming knowledge video base are on their way. See you next time.